welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new and today I have a very exciting video. This video is my create a sim video for my high school years expansion pack let's play. So these sims are the sims from my Sheffield legacy. I will talk a little bit about that soon but I do want to start off by saying that they have no aspirations, no like create some content or like traits or whatever the pack comes with yet as I have pre-recorded this and wanted to get it uh, this video out on the same day that the pack does come out, but because I pre-recorded, I do not have access to any of the content yet, obviously. Um, when I'm doing this voiceover, it's only the 20th, not the 28th yet, so yeah. But once I do get the pack, I will make sure that I go in and give them more creative some content, because I personally like to, when I get a new expansion pack, even though I love CC and prefer it over like regular content, um, I like to make sure I at least explore what we have been given and what I have paid for, <laughs> so, and I like to add it on my sims. But, yeah, I just wanted to say that little disclaimer, disclosure, little thing, <laughs> so I might change, like, their aspiration or traits or so-and-so or give them. I have also given all their outfits off camera. I only did their everyday wears, their first everyday wears. Um, for the video just because I didn't want it to be too long. It took me a really long time to do all their outfits anyways It took me probably like three hours in create a sim, maybe like three and a half. It was a while guys um, It took me a really long time in create a sim, especially on Clover's hairs alone um, The hair I don't I end up going with is that one um, not the one I Use throughout the rest of this video. Basically after I finished recording I realized I don't love this hair on her and I ended up changing it You guys will see what hair I use in the thumbnail anyways, but I thought I'd just talk about that really quickly But yes, these sims are actually my sims from the Sheffield legacy If you guys have not seen that in the last part Clover this sim right here was only a toddler. I did a lot of um, You know fixing and updating off camera so I could have these sims ready for the let's play for the high school years expansion pack and Clover is here. I did a little bit of tweaking to her face, just minor changes, um, just because sometimes with genetics, they, like, kind of get a little wonky, and I just wanted my sims to look as cute as possible, and I do think she's very cute. She definitely has her mother's eyes. I talked about this in my Sheffield Legacy, um, in the final part. Her, she has her mother's eye shape, which made it, like, I feel like I was struggling with actually kind of because I felt like it wasn't working with like certain eyeliners and I actually didn't know how I wanted her eyelashes to look because I wanted to give her longer ones because I imagined that for her personality but then the longer ones and the skin details look a little weird on her so I was like mm, I was struggling <laughs> but Clover is super cute and I also want to talk about the twins. So, in the finale, the twins were born, Ace and Leo, twin boys, so cute, um, they are so handsome. They definitely look a little bit more like Bryn, like I wanted, although I used the same skin pack, uh, skin detail, skin overlay, that's the word I was looking for, <laughs> the same skin overlay as their dad, so they definitely do look a little bit more like Alistair because I added that. Um, but they have the same complexion as their mom, which I love. They both also aged up with brunette hair like their mother, same as Clover, but I actually wanted one of them to have Alistair's hair color, so I changed Ace's hair color. We're gonna pretend he was always a blonde and that I didn't change it, just so he could be different. By the way, Ace, I think, is my favorite out of the three kids. He is so handsome. Both the twins are extremely handsome, but something about Ace, whew, oh my gosh, you guys will see him later in the video, but he is so cute. But I would really quickly like to talk about my plans for this Let's Play, very brief, uh, briefly. Um, I don't want to talk too much, but let's talk about Clover here. I am just doing I think I might have mentioned it earlier I don't remember I'm very forgetful but I only did all their everyday wears um only one outfit because it took me so long to do these sims and I didn't want this video to be extremely long um but yeah all their other outfits are done <laughs> as well as like Bryn and Alistair they have makeovers I didn't put that in this video but yeah I feel like I might have said that earlier I don't know this is my third take trying to get this intro, and I think this is the only one that's working so far, so maybe I'm thinking of another attempt in my intro, um, not 
it, like <laughs> from um not from this one I'm sorry but let me talk about Clover and my plans for her so Clover is our eldest she is our oldest child of the three I imagine her to actually be uh, a sophomore so she is going to be the sim that gets to experience like prom and graduation and stuff like that I have no idea how the pack works I don't know if the other two kids will also automatically get prom um if they do I'm just gonna consider it like homecoming for them I I don't have homecoming where I'm from um ours is more of like a semi-formal but um homecoming for like I think that's an American thing I don't know uh but homecoming they if I if they do have to attend prom I'm doing like air quotes they're actually going homecoming we'll imagine but minor details <laughs> that's like a later in the let's play issue we'll worry about but Clover is her oldest she is actually going to be like she's I imagine her to be very popular probably a cheerleader as well but I actually see her as someone who like is very friendly and outgoing and she just like loves people like she's a huge people person and she's like you know um very friendly and also loves social media um i there was like a social media thing you can do and like it's heavily focused on social media because like that's a very teenage thing nowadays in like current i say it as if i'm not like technically a teenager i'm turning 19 so like I'm in that range. <laughs> so, yeah, but um she's <laughs> she's going to be like heavily like focused on the social media aspect and like the cheerleading aspect and like the end of the year senior life aspect of this let's play and the content within it. And I'm honestly really looking forward to exploring all that. I think it could be really fun. Um I imagine her to be friends with my sim Dana Lawrence from my twins, my high school years inspired create a sim um, video. They're both cheerleaders, so definitely friends. And yeah, now we're actually moving on to her brother Ace. Now, at first, I had no idea what I wanted to do for Ace because I thought it was going to be two girls and one boy. Because I wasn't expecting twins. I wanted twins, but I wasn't expecting it. So I assumed they were, I like, I found out they were having a son. So I was like, okay, good. Clover, a son. And then I was going to have another child for Bryn and Alistair. And like, um, but make them a child at the start of the Let's Play. And then we'll see them uh, age up and at some point and they would, you know, start as a freshman. But my plans were changed once I had twins. So <laughs> I eventually kind of worked something out for Ace and I like it. He is going to be a gamer. Like I saw that there is like a streamer, like Twitch vibes, um, like a Twitch streamer thing path. I have no idea what the right correct word is, but like a com something like that uh, that comes with the new expansion pack. So I imagine Ace to be um like, he loves video games, he loves being on his computer, like, you know, any, I imagine him not being much of a people person, like, I imagine him being very shy, actually, like, very, like, introverted, like, to himself, you know, like, he is, like, a very stereotypical person, like, that, I, yes, I will admit, very stereotypical, but I honestly love those vibes and I have like a whole plan for him and how he's going to kind of work on breaking out of a shell. But until then, um, you know, he's going to start off very quiet and reserved and like only will enjoy talking to people through, uh, you know, his stream. Like he likes talking to his viewers on his Twitch streams and stuff like that. But when it comes to being like in high school, I don't think he would have that many friends and he wouldn't like talking to that many people. And I don't think a lot of people in his school know. No one really knows he's a Twitch streamer. I imagine him to be like a low key kind of like, but like a small following, but like a good, like friendly, welcoming, you know, following kind of like that. Those kind of vibes, very nice though, very wholesome. 
Um, I feel like his brother wouldn't know. I feel like Leo wouldn't know he streams. But I feel like Clover would. I feel like he would tell Clover, and Clover would be like, yeah, that's so cool, Ace. I don't know. Maybe Leo knows, but, like, Leo's not as supportive of it because Leo is, like, totally, like, He's also outgoing. I didn't give him the outgoing trait, but I imagine him as someone who is outgoing. So I imagine him being like, dude, go make some real friends. Go talk to people like in school. Like, you know, he is like Mr. Macho popular jock. Um, we're almost at Leo, but he's also very cute. Also, look how adorable Ace is. The minute I put the sweater on him, I love the color with his complexion and the blonde hair. And oh my gosh, he is so so cute they also go both got blue eyes like their father so i don't know who do you guys think they look more like if you guys know my sims brendan allister um i will make sure at the end of this video i will link the sheffield legacy playlist so you guys can go check that out if you want to prepare yourself you don't necessarily have to to be honest you could t totally watch this let's play without watching the Sheffield Legacy first, but if you'd like to see those sims, I'll put the playlist so you know what Bryn and Alistair both look like. Um, they're at, technically, they're at the bottom of the screen, so if you can, like, kind of work out what they look like, then yeah. <laughs> but who do you think they look more like if you know what their parents look like? But, uh, yeah, here is Leo. Leo, as I was saying earlier, is, like, super popular jockey bro type of dude. Totally popular. And I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I totally imagine Ace and Leo being sophomores. So, uh, basically, Clover, my mind almost blanked. I almost forgot her name. Clover is, like, in grade 12 while they're in, like, grade 10. Um, so, yeah, they're in their second year of high school. She's in her final, her fourth year of high school, but... Yeah, Leo, total bro jock type of dude, super Mr. Popular. Um, he's more similar to Clover in terms of being outgoing. I imagine him, even though he's a sophomore, he's friends with like everyone, freshmen, juniors, uh, seniors, he, all other sophomores as well. Like he knows everybody. He's probably like, I feel like he's not mean. But he probably could be a little mean, like, especially to Ace. I think him and Ace kind of butt heads a little. I feel like he might be a little bit mean to Ace and, you know, occasionally. But, like, overall, like, they still have a, a very close bond as twins and as brothers and, in general. But, yes, I imagine him being our football star, our football player, Mr. Popular Football. Like, super stereotypical. This is a high school pack, guys. So, I'm not gonna lie, I was very, like, driven by these, like, high school stereotypes, similar to, like, the Tina Day challenge where you're, like, making high school stereotypes, um, in, in Create a Sim, but that's what I'm doing with these sims, kind of, uh, but I don't know, I like it, I like the idea. I feel like he might date Dana because of the whole, like, cheerleader football player situation, you know, like, it's it's so stereotypical, but it works. I I also think they would be very cute together um, as well. I want to create a couple more Sims off camera for this Let's Play um, as well. So, like, they can have more friends. Because, like, I definitely see Ace at least having, like, one really close friend and then no other ones. And I also obviously want, like, more teenagers of mine to, like, roam the halls of the school um, I'm also hoping by the time I record the first part, there is, like, some updated high school buildings because I have seen it in, like, people who are testing out the PAX videos, and I don't love it. It's kind of, it's kind of meh, it's kind of boring, mm, but I have seen some of the content so far, and I do really think it is awesome, but this video is actually wrapping up, and I am so excited for this Let's Play to start. You guys do not understand, but if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts. Do you like these sims? Are you excited for the Let's Play? Are you planning on buying the pack? Have you already bought in the pack? Let me know. And if you are interested in watching this Let's Play or any of my other videos, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs>